Hey, what's up guys? So, what happens if you run out of soda, but you still want some more? Well, here's how to make a device that'll give you your carbonation beverage fix. So for this project, you're gonna need an empty soda bottle, and a tire valve from a bike tire, and to give it that nice CO2 carbonation, we're gonna be using a CO2 bike pump. So let's set aside the bike pump and the soda bottle, and we're gonna be focusing on the bike tire. And we're gonna go ahead and just cut off the part with the bike tire valve. Should be left with something like this, with a little bit of rubber still around the outside. Now let's grab the cap from our soda bottle, and we're gonna to wanna to drill a hole that's about as big as our tire valve right through the center. Now you also might have to remove this uh, seal from the cap, it just kind of comes right out. Now you want to go ahead and scuff up the inside of the cap. Uh, this is going to make for a better glue bond. Now let's go ahead and mix a little bit of epoxy. Now we can go ahead and put a little bit of epoxy around the inside of the cap. Try not to get too much on the threads uh, because then the bottle won't close properly. Now we want to take our tire valve and stick it right up through the center of the hole. And then immediately you're going to want to pull this down and push down around the sides to make sure we're getting a nice seal. And you're going to want to find something to keep pressure up on the tire valve to make sure it's good fit. And once the glue is dry, you should have something that looks like this. Um, it doesn't even matter too much about uh, how secure this glue bond is because when you screw in the cap, um, the actual lid will push up on this, creating a, a seal of its own. So it's alright if the bond's not perfect. But believe it or not guys, we are basically done with this build. All we got to do now is peel off the label of this bottle and then just fill this up with a drink. Now we can go ahead and screw on the top. Give it a squeeze to make sure it's airtight. Now we can go ahead and hook up our CO2 bike pump. Give it a little squeeze to add some CO2. You can experiment around with how long you want to leave this in. Um, the longer you leave it, the more carbonated it'll taste. But uh, once you're done, you can just unscrew the cap and you'll have a nice carbonated drink. You can even add carbonation to your favorite beverages. especially when you put it in a glass with some ice. So um, as you can see, this thing works pretty well. And um, for how easy it is to make, it uh, definitely gets the job done. Another cool thing is you can experiment with how much carbonation you want. Um, just leave the bottle pressurized a little bit longer and you'll get more carbonation. So um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, to be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, give this a like if you did. And um, that's all I've got for today, guys. So I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.